this wonderful place to the wonderful people of this town we give you glory for this wonderful service we invite you we give you the glory and the honor in our midst for it is written we are two or three in your name you are present so you are the shepherd and you are the chairman son you are the lead and you are the king of kings and the present in our midst you are a preacher and you are a counselor in each and everything in this town in jesus name we pray and we trust we can give god a big a big hand clap of celebration celebration amen hallelujah if it is possible, you can greet the tiny people and you can park at your seat. Greet the tiny people and move from your place and change the place to someone else. Change the place to someone else and greet someone. Greet someone in the name of Jesus and say, Sister, I have been waiting to see you. My brother has been waiting to see you in this place. Yes, in Jesus' name, the greetings is offered. Amen. The greetings is offered in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, we may be seated. My name is uh, Jeff Taminiki. I work as a pastor. Anointed One's Church is my employer. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. And I'm the happiest among all of you to be before you. I'm from Uganda, Mbale City. Hallelujah. Uh, we came a team of 10 people. Can we wave for the beautiful church? Amen. Amen. We have uh, five pastors with their five running mates. I think Kenyan, you understand very well the word running mates. Yeah. <laughs> Praise Jesus. All with their wives. Amen. Pastor, we celebrate you. We celebrate you. And, uh, and the leaders, we celebrate you, sir. We celebrate you. Uh, and all the church members, we celebrate you. Uh, and to all of them who are not here present, we celebrate them before. We celebrate them. Uh, and let's celebrate the Holy Spirit in our midst. We celebrate the Holy Spirit. Glory to our mighty God. Praise Jesus. Amen. If you are not happy, I'm happy for myself. I will never be happy for you if I'm not happy for myself. Because I can't give you what I don't have. Amen. Uh, the nation of Uganda and especially the ministry we came greeted you terribly. They didn't spare greetings. Uh, they, they greeted you. Pr praise Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor, they gave me 10,000 Kenya shillings to give to this church. Amen. The church. The, the church we came with. They gave you 10,000 shillings. Um, um, I have it here. I have it here, but because no time to give money. Not every time is time to receive money. Or not every time is time to give money. So it is not time to give money, it's time to introduce it. So uh, I can spend 10,000 shillings, Kenya money, uh, and that is 300,000 shillings. Three, 310,000 shillings, you can't. Uh, praise Jesus Christ. Amen. If it was three, if it was 310 Kenya money, you would celebrate better. But because it's 10,000, but that is the beginning. That is the beginning. That, that is the beginning. Praise Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, they, they made sure that um, we, the church, give the church the money. 10,000 shillings. Can you money? I have it here. I have it. It is here. 
Praise him. <laughs> Praise Jesus. We shall open our Bibles. I hope you have it. Praise Jesus. The book of Matthew and chapter 26 from verses 36 to 50 to 50. Matthew 26, 36 to 50. Wow. Then comes Jesus with them unto a place called Exesman and said unto the disciples, Sit here while I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebed and began to be sorrowful and heavy and very heavy. Then says he unto them, My son is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Turn here and watch with me. Tell your neighbor, watch with me. Say it again, watch with me. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass, out, pass from me. Nevertheless, not as, not as I will, but as you will. Someone say, as you will. Thank you. And he comes unto the disciples and found them asleep and a saint unto Peter. What did you not watch with me? One hour. One hour. Look at your neighbor and say, even one hour. You can't watch with me. Hallelujah. And the first 41 says, watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away again the second time and prayed, saying, Oh my father, if this cup may not, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it. You will be done. And he said, and he came and found them asleep again. Someone say again. again. For their eyes were heavy. And he left them and went away again. And prayed the third time, saying the same words. Then comes he to his disciples and said unto them, and, and said unto them, Sleep on now. Sleep on now. And take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand. And the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. Behold, he is at hand that does betray me. And while he, and while he yet speak, Lord Judah, Judas, one of the ten came and with him a great multitude with the swords and staffs from the chief priests and the elders of the people. 48. Now, he that betrayed him gave them a sign saying, Whosoever I shall kiss, that come is he. Behold, him first. And the fourth with he came to Jesus and said, Hey, Master. And I kissed him. And Jesus said unto him, Friends, Therefore, at thou comest, 
Then come they and laid hands on Jesus and took him away. Praise the Jesus for us. The Bible speaks Jesus he had 12 disciples. He had 12 disciples. But surprisingly according to me he left nine. He went with three. And when he reached somewhere, again, he left the three, he went alone. Praise Jesus for us. And I don't understand very well why he left the nine. And later on, he selected three, he went with them. And then he left the three, he went alone. Praise Jesus. And as, uh, as a leader, there are some things you must prepare to go along. Amen. Sometimes, to some things, as a leader, you must prepare to go along. If nine, they are not ready to go with you, be ready to go along. If three, they are not ready to go with you, be ready to go alone. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. There is a time when some people are not ready to accompany you, to go with you. And the time of prayer, he wanted to, to go with all parts. The nine we are not a saint. They are not a saint. And maybe they will not manage the kind of the prayer he is going to pray. He left them because they cannot go with you. Praise Jesus. When we came from Uganda, there are people who dropped from the past in Malaba and others dropped from the past in Entrek. I saw some dropped from the past in Nakuru and some of them we arrived them in Nairobi and we left them in Nairobi and we came to Moranga. Praise Jesus. Prepare to drop some people who are not ready to go with you. In this kind of prayer, in this kind of a week, in this kind of the ministry you are called, you may be not called to go with each and every one. Some people will be dropped on the way. Oh, you will drop some of them on your way for the place you are about to go. It is for you alone. Praise Jesus. And he left the three and he went farther ahead. Praise Jesus. As a little in the marketplace, remember to make a prayer more than your members. As a pastor, as a choir member, as an interpreter, you must go ahead of others. Praise Jesus. Jesus went ahead. If they cannot pray, he must pray. If he cannot, if they cannot preach, he must preach. If they cannot sing, he must sing. If they cannot do it, he's ready to do it. Minus them. If they are sleeping, let them sleep. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. You know. This is an injury time. And if you are a substitute, in an injury time, your work is to make a call. Square call. So don't blame me to move faster because you are said if you are fast enough. Praise Jesus. Amen. He has to leave them. And the people who are not ready to go with them, he went ahead of them. Praise Jesus. Someone you are in this place, God is calling you this week to go ahead of others. To go ahead and to make a deeper prayer.
to make a deeper and serious prayer. Praise Jesus Christ. God is calling Molanga and God is calling you in this church to go ahead and go deeper. Praise Jesus to us. It is time to go further. It is time to go ahead. It is time to leave others behind. If they are supposed to leave, if they are supposed to remain behind, they must remain behind. And if you are supposed to go ahead, you must go ahead. They are sleeping. He came the second time. They are sleeping. He came the third time. They are sleeping. Praise Jesus. How deep they are sleeping. And the temptation and the and the betrayer is on the door. When you are sleeping spiritually, or when you are sleeping mentally, or when you are sleeping emotionally, or when you are sleeping socially, or when you are sleeping financially, or when you are sleeping scientifically, you have to know that the betrayer is on your door. It's on your door. I don't know which kind of the sleep you are sleeping. Praise Jesus. I don't know which kind of the sleep is in Morana. I don't know which kind of the sleep is in the church of Jesus Christ. But when you sleep mentally, or financially, or spiritually, or emotionally, you need to know that when you are sleeping, the betrayer whom you call your friend is about to betray you. There are some friends are not friends. Jesus is calling you just carry out my friend, but you just carry out, he says, You're not my friend. I will sell you. I will petrol you, I will get money in you. I will crucify you today. Praise Jesus. And when Jesus saw the Petroia is coming, he went ahead the first time. When he saw the Petroia is coming, he went ahead the second time. When he saw the Petroia is coming, he went ahead the third time. Because he's about to go the first heaven the second heaven and the third heaven. And to every heaven, he must make a prayer. To every heaven, he must make a prayer. You must make a prayer on the way you are about to go. On the job you are about to do. Praise Jesus. We have many betrayers at our workplace. Many betrayers in neighborhoods. Many betrayers in this country. Hallelujah. I saw President Hurant, uh, Deputy Ruto, make the covenant of not divorcing, but uh, I think they have divorced enough. Praise Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The friend you may call a friend, he may pray for you. Mind your account, mind your prayer. Friends changes. Friends changes, customers changes, neighbors changes. You are boss, can it change? But there is one boss called Jesus Christ who does not change. Hallelujah. He made a prayer the first time. He made a prayer the second time. He made a prayer the third time. He is about to go. He is about to go to death and to the grave. Three times. Three days. To the belly of the soil. To the bed of mountains. Hallelujah. The prayer number one, one day. The prayer number two, the second day. The prayer number three, the third day. He will rise up. Remember, prayer never die. They can bury you, but they will not bury your prayer. Praise Jesus Christ. Even your grandchildren will grow and find your prayer. Even the great, great grandchildren, they will grow and they will benefit in your prayer. You pray it. Even if you are no longer around, your prayer will remain. Your prayer will be watchful. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. And he came.
came the first time. He came the second time. He came the third time. Awakening them. When Jesus is about to come, you will hear awakening voice. Amen. Awakening voice. The church is sleeping. The church is sleeping. And the Bible says when the souls went to sleep, and the enemy came and sold his seeds. And it was terrible to uproot it. It was very hard to uproot it because they went to sleep and the enemy came and planted his bad seeds. The good seeds are the children of God. The good seeds are the children of the kingdom. And the tears and the bad seeds of the enemy. And the bad seeds and the bad children of the enemy. They are in the church today. It is a prayer will identify. Pray all identify. Praise Jesus. He came with awakening voice. And he awakened them the first time. Wake up. He awakened them the second time. Wake up. He awakened them the third time. Wake up. Muranga. Wake up. Muranga. Wake up. Muranga. Wake up. Kenya. Wake up. The high time the Kenyans, the church in Kenya, woke up because you are about to see what you didn't want it to see. In 2007, I was praying. I was praying when uh, our former led President Kibaki was taken on and with uh, a moral hierarchy. They struggled. They struggled. And I, I was praying. And I, I saw, I saw uh, pray the former president, Mike Kibaki, fell from the top of the highest building. I don't know which one is that. He fell. And when he fell, I expected him to die. He didn't die. And I went to shake with him in the hands. And I said, you are still a president of Kenya, but falling from down, it means some powers will be reduced from him. And that's why they found the prime minister and the some powers was removed from prison. It became a coalition in that way. Hallelujah. And later on, and later on, I saw, I saw a call. From, it was a presidential call from a neighboring country. I myself, I expected. If, if you are here, don't go, and, don't go and tell them. But if you want to tell them, you go. We have not sent you. <laughs> I hope it, it came from Uganda. I don't know, but I hope. Praise Jesus. I've said, I hope. Praise Jesus. Was. And the presidential call told Mike, don't leave the power. Don't leave the power. Don't leave the power. And the man refused to surrender the power. And the Kenyans died. Don't measure this season badly. Measure this season spiritually. Yes. All us Kenya and Uganda, we must be awake and measure this season spiritually, biblically, godly, for something is about to happen and something is about to come out. Kenya, you are about to produce a fourth president. And you don't know which formula. You don't know which formula. Praise you, Jesus. And so the voice of God is saying, Muranga, wake up. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Can we put our hands together to Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. Jesus would awaken the church. Jesus will awaken the church. Jesus will awaken the church. Praise God. Jesus will awaken the church. Before something happens, he will not keep quiet. He will warn his saints. He will warn his prophets. He will speak. It is written in Amos. Before I do, I will not do it without telling my prophets. Hallelujah. 
<laughs> and he called them the third time. The second, the first, the second, the third time. They are not awakening. And he said, okay, if you want to sleep, continue sleeping. But when you continue sleeping, remember the betrayer is at hand. You are not, you are about to not to like the time. You are about not to like the season if you don't wake up. If you don't wake up, praise Jesus. I was praying in Uganda and God have spoken two things and I've not spoken it. And I may not tell you openly, but I will tell you in preaching. Because you are wise. The people of Ranjawa, they are different from the people of the Sunday service. Praise Jesus. Amen. Praise Jesus first. Awake yourself. Don't say I'm from, uh, don't say I'm far from Nairobi. You are not far from Nairobi. The Nairobians are coming here. And you don't know in which way they are coming. Praise Jesus. We must to protect the gates. We must to protect the gates with the prayer. Praise Jesus first. I want to ask you to stand up in this. Um, I have five minutes. Let me give you two minutes. And the God will react. Yes. And I leave three minutes to you to go to your work. But tomorrow, if you do me a favor, we can reduce the time of welcoming the preacher. And uh, we come early and we give him enough time. Praise Jesus. Was. I, I didn't come here to change anything. But just a request. Can we, can we lift up our hands? I lift up our hands. One, two, three. Can you go on and pray? One, two, three. Can you go on and pray? Make a prayer. Someone make a prayer. My sister, make a prayer. 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 My sister, make a prayer. In your marketplace, make a prayer. In your office, make a prayer. In your family, make a prayer. In your marriage, make a prayer. In Muranga Township, make a prayer. For Kenya, make a prayer. Make a prayer. In this place, my brother and my sisters, make a prayer. Make a prayer. Rakasatataya. My God, my God, we worship our God, we adore our God, we praise our God, we exalt our God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for our nation of Kenya. We thank you for our nation of Kenya. We thank you for Murangas Township. We thank you for this place. In Jesus' name, we pray and we receive. In Jesus' name, we pray and we receive. Someone celebrate and I say amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jehovah God, we want to worship and praise you because we are holding your might here. All the glory and all the honor, my Father, belongs to you. We lift in thee and we glorify your glory. In heaven, you are another than need your God. There is no other king but only the seed of God. That's why we exalt your name. That's why we glorify your name in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's just, Father, I do declare the godly blessings that under no sorrow, to each and every sister, to each and every brother, to each and every person who have attained this height of glory, and to each and every person of glory who has any need to glory. You go now. Uh, do as per the will in Jesus' holy name. At what they are me yes, Mungu. When out of summer, he cut up my yes, Mungu. What about our meaning? What are they could get on my best yako video? He live you. Katka Gina, like yes, Christo. Be thou glorified God, because of Almighty. Let's just follow. I believe thy people, King of Glory, thy blessings. Where you go, King of Glory, and they have honored thee, King of Glory, to come into this summit. Honor them, God, wherever they will go. May thy favor, may thy anointing be upon them in their presence of work. In Jesus' name, we pray and we give thanks. Amen and amen and amen, amen. You may be seated for just a one or two minutes. Well, 
after this, at four, we will be having our open air meeting, our crusade in Mukoyo Market, the main stage. We will be there today and tomorrow. But uh, on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we will be near Malikiti. That's where we will be. But uh, tomorrow morning from nine, we will be having door to door witnessing. Uh, so if you are capable of being with us, please, you may come. Uh, before nine because we will be leaving at this hall uh, exactly at nine that we may have ample time to reach people to reach the people who are have, have need so brethren let's know um to, to, to say this that we may as a servant of god has said that we may be in prayer what we are seeing in the political arena is not what is in the mind of god but if you want to take what we are seeing, we have the freedom. But we'll cry as Kenyans. That's what God told me. 2018, God told me the coming election, if the church does not stand, Kenya will cry. But if we pray, if we pray, what we are seeing, we will not get it. But we don't pray. We will suffer as Kenyans. Are we together? But there is time to change things. There's, in the spiritual realm, it is not the way we are seeing. Uh, Moses thought that he would reach Canaan. He didn't reach. Joshua took over. Even now, if we pray, Joshua will take the leadership of this nation. If we pray, Joshua will take the leadership of this nation. But if we don't pray, Moses will continue with the leadership. But, and if Moses continues the leadership, we will cry. Kenya will suffer more than any other time. It has suffered before, uh, from the time Kenya became a republic. But if we pray, Joshua will take over for the glory and honor of God. Amen. As we move out, uh, we may give an offering and God will bless you. And I said yesterday that uh, as you give your offering, you don't give to God, but you do good to yourself. God is not in need of that money, but he uses that money to bless you. Once you give your offering, that at times, sister times, harder times. If you give, if you pay your tithe in your church, God will rebuke that fowler. If you give them giving to God, then you'll do even what you have not asked. Brethren, let's try God. And all will be well in Jesus' name. My Lord and my God, bless thy people as they go back to their place of work. And where we will go for the uh, closer to our God. Thank you because we will meet you there and you will save, you will redeem, and you will save. And if there is anybody who is sick here, receive your healing now. In Jesus' name. If there is a family problem, if there is an issue with your neighbor, if there is an issue that is disturbing you, may you get relief now in Jesus' name. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen.